the student Lappy, but changed back to Adventurer Bell Cranel. Then I arrived at the guild headquarters. Why are you here? And it seems like you're well groomed compared to usual. The clothes I bought casually were judged as well groomed, which made me feel a bit complicated. At the same time, I also got straight to the point. Actually, I was at the guild headquarters at night, and then I saw Inasan with a girl who looked a lot like Inasan. I said this with guilt and a lie, coming here, Miss Ina's face was immediately stained with sadness. This deepened my guilt. Then I got a bit worried, so I waited until Miss Ina got off work. I just thought, could you tell me something, etc.? I knew very well that I was interfering in the two's affairs, but I really couldn't ignore it. Whether it was Nina or Miss Ina. Miss Ina, who looked a bit confused, finally raised her face and nodded slightly. That child's name is Nina, she's my sister. Wearing guild employee clothing and eating with adventurers would affect the guild's image. So we first went to Miss Ina's house and then to a very stylish restaurant in the northern part of the city. The windows used here are not made of wood, but expensive glass. Rather than an adventurer's tavern, it's more like a shop where upper-class people can dine safely. Miss Ina, who was sitting opposite, slowly began to count as she ate. We're six years apart, but in truth, I have no memories of that child. What's going on? It's true that there's a big age difference, but there are no memories. When the child was just born, I went to the school district. Dot. Our mother was very weak. She couldn't do it without medicine, and my father worked a lot, but... When I was still a child, I wanted to do something. Something. Actually, I wanted to work right away and earn money, but my mother asked me to at least go to the school district to study. That was the first time I heard about Miss Ina's family situation, and I was quite shocked. Miss Ina was only six years old when she entered the school district. As soon as Nina was born, she embarked on a trip to the Garden of Learning by herself. She chose to work at the guild through the school district and was initially interested in the generous salary so that she could send the money to her parents, she said with a bit of self-deprecation. I can't go back to my hometown at all. Nina probably won't remember me. In other words, she probably only knows that she has a sister and treats me like a stranger. I'm sorry, I said that a little strangely. But we're so far apart. I only vaguely remember what the child was like when he was a baby, when I was able to go back to visit my relatives. It was Nina's turn to go to the school district. Miss Ina and her sister are so far apart in terms of distance and time that I can only listen to their story in a daze. Nina must have entered the school district for the same purpose as Ina-san. I was separated from my family for the sake of my family and to help my family. Maybe in the underworld such things are normal, but I still feel helpless and sad. I also sent letters. Not to mention my mother and others, I also sent them to Nina, who studies in the school district. The letter says, you may be confused, but I'm your sister, so if you have any problems, just tell me. When I received the reply, the above article was very blunt, but I was very happy. At this moment, Miss Ina, who always smiled, suddenly became depressed. But from a certain point on, I never received a reply again. I kept thinking whether I was too busy, whether I found it troublesome to send letters, or whether it was because I clearly don't see you. Even though I didn't do anything for her, I considered myself a sister, so I hated myself. So I never sent a letter to her again, she confessed sadly. My mother and others told me, there's no such thing, Nina values you too much, but I was too scared. 
Then this year, when the school district came back, I couldn't just be happy. No, it was actually a little scary. After all, Nina is on that ship. That's right. When I mentioned the school district, and for a moment in Port Town, I saw Miss Ina's sad eyes, which ended up thinking of Nina. So when we saw each other today, the feeling of meeting each other for the first time was even stronger than when we hadn't seen each other for a long time. Ina-san immediately realized that it was Nina, that she was your sister. Right? And you took the initiative to talk to me. Of course I understand. After all, she's wearing the school district clothes, and she looks exactly like her mother. Perhaps she remembered the scene that night, Miss Ina. A smile appeared. Although Miss Ina said that she looks exactly like their mother. But I think that Miss Ina and Nina are exactly the same. No matter what others say, I think they are like two sisters. But Nina doesn't seem to want to see me. After all, she ran away. Sure enough, I was hated by her. In the end, Miss Ina forced herself to make a joke. However, it turns out that's the case. Now I kind of understand the relationship between the two. Nina also has some kind of a problem. Teacher Leon said so. Does this have much to do with what Miss Ina just said? Teacher Leon said that she expected me to listen to her directly, but could I really ask? At least it wouldn't be possible to force her to talk. I have a hunch. Nina's problem is more complicated than Miss Ina's. I don't know if it's good for me to intervene in what can be called a sister's matter. I need to think about it myself. But no matter what, right now. I think Miss Ina's sister must, no, she definitely doesn't hate you. Her expression is very painful, and she won't show it when facing someone she hates. I wanted to directly convey to her what I felt alongside the two of them at that moment. Whether it was Nina's speechless profile after being called by Miss Ina, or the hazy expression stained with the color of the sunset when she ran away, they were far from disgusted. I looked straight into her wide-open emerald eyes, the same color as Nina's, and firmly concluded. Miss Ina froze there, motionless, and then her eyes became moist, but now she forgot her sadness and smiled. Thank you, Belkuen. You're welcome, but I interfered even though I had nothing to do with this. I'm sorry. No, there's no such thing. I'm very happy. I suddenly came to my senses and couldn't help but apologize to her, and then Miss Ina slowly shook her head. As stupid as I am, I'm always fascinated by the sight of young women with flushed cheeks and easygoing smiles. I immediately felt embarrassed and smiled awkwardly, then Ina-san covered her mouth and laughed. As if she had calculated the timing, or as if she had seen something moving and wanted to pay the price. The waiter poured amber wine into Miss Ina's empty glass. By the way, I had to go back to the school zone, so I had juice. We thanked each other as if we were toasting again, and just as our lips were about to touch the glass, there was a bang. There was a muffled sound coming from our side sitting near the window. No, the only window next to us that faces the avenue. I thought so, and looked over there, and then. Belkuen and a Belsama. Bel and Ina noticed that Kamisama and Lily had their heads pressed against the floor of the window glass, their eyes synchronizing their mouths without thinking. When I looked carefully, Goddess Sama and the others were followed by Welf, Miss Mikoto, and Miss Haruheim, Miss Ryu. In short, all the members of the Hestia Familia were there. I couldn't help but scream in my heart, why? While we were in a panic, Goddess Sama and Lily, who no longer knocked on the windows frequently, walked to the entrance, 
freed themselves from the restraints of the waiter and barged into the store. What are you doing, Belkuen? Goddess Sama, why are you here? No. Answer the question with another question, Bel Sama. You shouldn't be in the school zone, right? Lily, no, I have something to talk to Miss Ina about, so I snuck out for a while, 